Welcome back. Sunny days. Mm. Some of us saw temperatures getting up to about 60 or even a little better today, but cold yeah. night to head. I know, Ben. I mean, I feel we're not in the desert or anything, but living in Las Vegas, there have been nights where it's, you know, it gets really cold after dealing with a hot day, but it is mild for Upper Michigan this afternoon, but lots of sunshine. 65 degrees over in Escanaba, light northeasterly wind, and pressure continues to rise. The value is at 30.22 inches there on the barometer. Here are your current temperatures and the satellite and radar composite. Mostly clear skies all across upper Michigan. Highs in the upper 60s from Iron Mountain down to Stevenson, Iron River too. So along that Wisconsin border is where it's warmed up, staying in the 50s mostly along the Lake Superior shores. Now, here's the current dew points across upper Michigan. You got mid-20s down along the Wisconsin border over in Iron River. The dew points are telling, especially if we're under high pressure. It clues us in on how low our temperatures could get overnight, but also represents the moisture in the atmosphere. We are fairly dry, and that dry air will also contribute to the frost potential tonight. A frost advisory from 2 a.m. to 10 a.m. Eastern Time tomorrow, and it's including much of Upper Michigan, excluding Northern Houghton, Keweenaw counties, Chippewa, and Mackinac counties. But for those areas, I say still, if you have those tender plants, you want to protect them overnight. There could be patchy frost still in the forecast. Here's your frost freeze impacts, low temperatures from the mid 20s inland up to the lower 40s near shore. So patchy frost for areas near the lake Superior shoreline, Lake Michigan shoreline, but widespread across the interior and you cannot rule out a hard freeze where it's dropping below 28 degrees. National Weather Service says that'll kill most commercial crops and residential plants. So you have time to act and protect them ahead of time before you go to sleep. We are under a big ridge, ridging jet stream, and that's enforcing dry air aloft, and that will continue through the overnight, continue to our last days of May. Mostly clear, and the moon will be rising just around 3 a.m. Eastern time tonight. Those will range from the 30s to lower 40s across the shorelines. Patchy frost for the shorelines, widespread frost for the interior, and temperatures not just will fall below or reach freezing, they could drop below that. Mid to upper 20s cannot be ruled out for a few spots, especially along the western interior of the UP. And then we warm up under mostly sunny skies for Thursday afternoon. Highs ranging from the 60s to 70s along the shorelines. Upper 70s cannot be ruled out for the interior tomorrow, just like today. It's going to be a southerly breeze for the interior. Now, Meso West Great Lakes fire and fuels rating. It'll be fairly dry tomorrow and a bit warmer, so it could be up to very high, that wildfire danger rating, because of the relative humidities that could drop at 30% or below by the afternoon. In the case of very high, that means fires can start easily from all causes. They can spread. They can intensify quickly immediately after ignition. TV6 extended forecast, that wildfire risk extending into Friday until we get to the evening hours, for, especially for areas out west, that big bubble of high pressure, it's not going to burst. It's just going to be pushing east towards the Atlantic shores of Canada and the United States. We're looking at light rain, hoping that stays for the west and some areas of central upper Michigan Friday afternoon. It's going to be heavier with thunderstorms in play as we get overnight and it spreads towards the eastern county. So that's what we got for our first few days of June and warmer Sunday. There could be some temperature highs reaching the 80 degree mark. We'll keep an eye on on that one, it could be humid too, Ben, so it will feel like summer once we begin June here in the UP. All right, thanks, Noel. Remember on the free TV 6 and